Hey guys, I am so excited to welcome you to a new series which I have started, which is on Swift UI, Combine and MVVM. Because this is a winding architecture, MVVM fits in perfectly. So I am excited to include that as well as part of this package. I am pretty much going to reuse the HTTP services which we had created as part of the green grocery app and make things work using the new approach of uh, Swift UI and Combine. So let me show you what I have done until now, just that you know, this is not a tutorial episode, but just an intro into what's there in store for you guys. So let's begin. Let me run and show you what where I am right now. It's a complete reactive programming architecture to an extent. I'm not completely done it end to end, but at least on the UI side, I have something like a sign up screen right now, which is totally bound with a view model called uh, sign up view model. And everything is reactive. E even the messages which are coming back uh, are from the client and the server. Let's say a username is pretty much on the client side. So if I enter something like uh, test that gets validated because it's only expecting me to have it as required. Now it says email is missing. So some of the things I have done here is email at least it should validate on the client side, client side that uh, that's a required field. So I need to at least enter something there. Let me enter that. So still it's not a valid field. It's still on the client side saying email is not valid because it's not a valid format. So let me just say test at the rate dot mail dot or test at the rate gmail dot com. So client validation is complete, but at the server, it goes and checks whether it is existing on the server side. So I still get a message from the server saying email is already in use. So I cannot use this anymore. So let me modify it and make it valid. So there, there are two things happening here. One is a client side validation where it is checking for the validity of the email which I have entered, like whether it is in the right format. Also, once that is completed, it triggers a server call to check whether that is already being used or not. So that's a pretty good way of validating your email IDs and a good way of uh, user experience as well. So let me just modify and see whether this, this email is there or not. So that's valid. So I can even include something like a tick mark, a green tick that I can maybe work on it in the next tutorial when I'm actually working on the tutorial episode. Now these two things are valid and a couple of uh, validations are still left to be done. Like the password is still missing. So I can enter that the EST and still it say this is more like the client validation where uh, Password must be at least eight characters and which should have one alphabet and one number. So ABCD one, two, three, four is what I have entered. So now that is matching. Similarly, let me just enter the, uh, it's now validating for the confirmed password where it, it's not yet matching with whatever I have entered in the password field. Let me also do that test one, two, it's still not valid. Three, four, it should be matching now. Did not match. Let me just check once more. Two, three, four. Okay, maybe I did not enter the right one here. T E S T two three four. That's matching. So everything is matching. And then did, did you see this? If it's not valid, then I don't allow this button. Actually, it should be sign up. I made it as login. So that's something which I may make a correction later. But then you can see that only after all the fields are valid this gets enabled and the, even the color changes so even i can just do this see still see it's not enabled and it's not uh, color also is changing so that's the validation part which i have done using view model so everything is happening on the view model side even the service calls are happening there so now i just need to hit login and and the view model knows what are the parameters which it needs to send to the server so even that is captured there so as soon as i hit log, login i get a sign up successful call back from the server and everything gets reset so this is what i have done until now and i'll be uploading this code to my 
patron site where you if you need early access you can subscribe to my patron and then get access to that otherwise just wait for this episode which is pretty much coming up soon because i already have the code ready and running i just need to make some minor modifications and uh, there are still work left uh, where i need to come use combine on the http side of things where it is still using closures but i can very much get rid of that and then use combine features to send the result back like a map or a sync or anything so combine is something which i'll take up where i'll give you a um, comparative um, approach where i can show you how rx swift works and what are the differences which we can or what are the approaches which we can do with combine if you are already familiar with combine uh, rx swift or else it's just that i like to give you a complete introduction of what combine is and how different it is from the normal approach of programming which we do in uh, ios so these are the things coming up soon i hope you are going to enjoy this one and um, that's it from my end bye for now